I think the question of what is science is one of the most fascinating ones in modern society. A quick way of defining science might be something like science is reliable, shared, technical knowledge about the world. But that's a very general definition. Much more interesting is how different the ways of understanding science are at the moment and have been through history. Defining science is often also a way of defining the activities of people who produce it. It's completely impossible to understand the past of the sciences without engaging with contemporary sciences. The problems historians ask are problems always suggested by our contemporary situation. The only danger is to forget that fact and to pretend that the past effortlessly produces its own questions. Not only that, but I always think that without an understanding of the concerns, questions and interests of contemporary sciences, historians of science are in a certain sense disabled. All scientific practitioners always also produce histories. They all tell each other stories about how they got to where they are and where they want to go. They certainly all write their autobiographies. It's not a choice as to whether historians of science and scientists engage with each other. They do and they have to. Without understanding how we got to where we are, we're very unlikely to make informed decisions. As a great social scientist once said, if you forget the past, you are condemned to repeat it. So one of the things that historians of science can offer the social world is a better, more reliable memory. Historians of science, I think, can and should take part in the most urgent debates. Without exaggerating, um, I think historians of science have a really central role to play in the current debates about economy and society. Mm -hmm.